Now, let's understand the concept of profit maximization, which talks about how can the firms maximize their profit by playing around with the revenues and the costs. Because we know profit is nothing but in any case we talk about, whenever we talk about a profit, it is nothing but the total revenue minus the total cost. Now I want the maximum value of this profit. Right, the maximum value, which means I have to, generally we know finding a maxima of a particular uh, equation, I find the derivative of it and equate it to zero. So I take the derivative with respect to quantity. I take the derivative of PR minus TC. So the derivative of PR, we have already talked what is the derivative of uh, TR? Marginal revenue. Marginal revenue minus the marginal cost, the first derivative should be equal to zero. That is what is the mechanism of finding the maximum. So we know that only when MR equal to MC, that particular output, when MR equal to MC, marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost, that particular output is what is the profit maximization output and every firm should really target doing the production at that particular level of output. Now, from that, just let's try to uh, understand the different scenarios here. In the short run, when I talk about profit maximization, at any point in time, what do I need as a part of profit maximization? I'll look at that particular output where my total revenue is greater than total cost. And the difference between the total revenue and the total cost is the maximum possible. Now here, if I look at this is the place where I see the difference between the total revenue and the total cost being the highest. Here, this is the difference smaller. Here, this is the difference smaller. Probably here, the total cost is higher than the total revenue also. Probably this is, uh, this is not business at all. So, which means I, if I produce more, in some cases, it becomes more dangerous for me. So, this, at this particular quantity, I am seeing that the difference between the total revenue and the total uh, expenses, which is the total cost, is going to be the highest. And uh, that is the location where I have uh, clearly identified that marginal revenue will be equal to the marginal cost. Because think of it like this, at any point if the marginal revenue is greater than marginal cost, so, one additional unit is giving me an additional revenue more than the cost, which means my profit is increasing. Profit is increased by producing one extra unit and selling it. Similarly, if marginal revenue goes lesser than marginal cost, I can reduce. I can reduce the one unit and I can increase the profit. So, overall, we talk about the profit maximizing output. Now, if I look at any typical scenario where okay my ar curve is same as the demand curve marginal revenue curve is falling even more steeply marginal cost curve in each we know that initially it falls and after that it keeps going up the average cost curve is again uh, it also falls uh, until the marginal cost is going down and as long as uh, the marginal cost is below the average cost, the average cost keeps increasing, uh, uh, keeps decreasing. And once the marginal cost starts uh, going up, we see that the average cost also goes up. Now, if I look at from this figure, my profit maximizing output is where the marginal cost cuts the marginal revenue. So I have to produce this much of quantity. Now for this much of quantity, what is the price? I will look at it on the demand curve, the average revenue curve. So this is the price which I am setting. So this is the price at which, at which I can sell Q1 
star quantity. Now, if this is the average revenue, if this is the price, what is my average cost? For this quantity, I'll check out where the average cost curve is. So, this is my average cost. So, the difference between the two is the profit per unit. The P star minus AC star is talking about the profit per unit. And this I multiply it with the quantity which will give me the total profit that the firm has produced. And that total profit is the maximum possible profit that the firm can generate. So I can find out the average profit which is the per unit profit. And also I can look out for the total profit by multiplying the average per unit profit multiplied by the quantity, the, uh, the profit maximization quantity that is being produced. So this is what we look at in terms of short term profit. But what about long term? In long term, the marginal cost is something different because in short term, there are a few costs that are fixed. So up to a certain point, I see that the marginal cost curve comes down and after that it may start going up. But we know that in the long run, the marginal cost is something different. In the long run, the marginal cost is uh, something where every cost is a variable cost. There is nothing called a fixed cost there. So the marginal cost curve is uh, different in case of long run. So if I have to look at a long run profit maximization output, I will look out for the marginal revenue curve where it will be equivalent to the long run marginal cost curve. And now, okay, wherever it is, see whether whatever is the curve we are talking of, let me talk about it. Uh, let's say I'm talking about the demand curve, which is AR. This is the MR curve, marginal revenue curve. I'm seeing that the marginal cost curve and probably I also will uh, see, let's say the average cost curve. Right, let's say this is the case. So we know where marginal revenue is cutting the marginal cost. This is the quantity. And for this quantity, if I look at the average uh, revenue, this is the price that I am setting. And for this quantity, wherever is the average cost curve that is uh, coming up, this is the average cost that is coming up. Now, this profit, whenever we are using the word profit here, we have to understand the difference between a normal profit and a super normal profit. Whenever I talk about a normal profit, it is purely the opportunity cost for me to stay in the business. Because as an entrepreneur, as uh, the typical businessman uh, who is running this business, I could have invested my money elsewhere. I could have invested this money elsewhere and I could have made a profit. But I invested in this business which means there is something that I have foregone in terms of investing it in this business. Some returns I have foregone and that return which I have foregone is what we are calling as the opportunity cost. So whenever I am talking about the normal profit for any business, it is purely the opportunity cost of running this business by foregoing some other opportunity to invest the capital that we had. So that's the reason we talk about the rate of interest that I am typically foregoing by putting this capital in this business rather than investing it somewhere else. And this is purely based on the risk associated with this particular business. So wherein uh, that particular profit, we talk about it as some risk free rate of return plus some risk premium which comes in for the risk that is purely associated with the business. If the business is more and more risky, then I would expect a slightly higher return, but a very conservative, traditional kind of a business, the risk premium would be much lesser and I don't mind even getting a lesser returns on that. So probably if I have to look at this normal profit, 
it is purely that amount of profit which an investor really feels that he should get if at all he wants to stay in this business and anything lesser than that he won't mind exiting out of the business in the long run because he he feels that he can very well get something better by diverting this funds into some other business so that is what we are calling as a normal profit which should come in due course of time of running a particular business but when i use this word super normal profit it is much much more than the normal profit if for this risk probably uh, it is 15% per year that i need to generate a return probably uh, my business has generated a 25% return so that additional 10% i am calling as a super normal profit which is what we really call it as an economic profit the profit that i have really got because i have chose this business i am making much more than the opportunity cost so that is what we call as abnormal profit super normal profit economic profit different names to it and what we also say on the other side is in case the firm is not able to make a profit when can that happen look at this scenario right here the average revenue demand curve and marginal revenue are more or less the same marginal cost curve is fine but look at the average cost curve it is much above the average revenue curve the average cost curve is looking much above the average revenue curve and in that case you see what is the profit maximization output where mr equal to mc so this is the profit maximization output now for this output what is uh, the price i can set the price where the for this output i look out on the demand curve and said that this is the price and what is the average cost for the same uh, demand curve for the same quantity i look out on the average cost curve where it intersects and said that this is the average cost now here i see average revenue is greater than the average cost right and price is uh, sorry average revenue is lesser than the average cost or price is lesser than the average cost so when price is lesser than the average cost probably it may not be wise for me to typically it, it does not give me a profit in fact it gives me the loss but even in that scenario what it is saying is the output which i talk about mr equal to mc where the marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost that is the loss minimizing output as well along with it being a profit maximization output in case a firm is not able to generate any profit the same output will become a loss minimization kind of an output level also and then one more dimension that we have to see okay as long as the firm is generating a loss means uh, it is uh, costs are much more than the revenues now what is my point of understanding is should it shut down the business should it close down now this is where we talk about two dimensions one being the short run the other being the long run now in short run we know that some of the costs are fixed only a few of them are variable now because a few of them are variable i would really want to see as long as the average revenue is greater than the average variable cost continue because fixed cost was already incurred it was already sunk so there is it should not play any kind of a decision in my in my uh, uh, continuing the production kind of a framework i should not use the sunk cost as a part of my decision making so only the variable costs need to be considered that is what even a bygones principle brings in so because i have to consider only the variable costs in the short run because some costs are fixed and only some of them are variable generally my producing decision comes out i keep on producing and selling as long as the average revenue is greater than the average variable cost because that difference average revenue minus the average variable cost for every one unit some amount x 
is getting contributed towards the fixed cost. So the fixed cost is getting recovered to some extent. So that's the reason I'll keep producing in the short term. As long as my average uh, uh, revenue is greater than the average variable cost. Only when the average revenue goes lesser than the average variable cost. Right? Average revenue goes lesser than the average variable cost. That is where I take a shutdown decision. The moment the average revenue touches the average variable cost, that at that point of output, if I am not able to produce anything better than that, I am ready to shut down my business. So, in the short run, the formula is, as long as you can cover your variable costs, go ahead and do the production. But in the long run, there is nothing called fixed. All the costs are variable, which means there is not much of a difference between your average variable costs and average total costs in case of long run. So that's the reason we say the moment your average revenue goes below your average total cost, which would be more or less similar to your average variable costs also. The moment your average revenues is lesser than that, shut down the business. You cannot run your business. So in that case, I will check out for that particular point where my average revenue curve is more and more tangential to the average total cost curve for long run average total cost curve. So shut down point is a very simple thing. In the short run, if my average revenue is lesser than the average variable cost, shut down. In the long run, average revenue lesser than the average total cost, shut down. Otherwise, keep continuing the production and sell. So this is an important dimension with respect to the profit maximization, loss minimization and the decision regarding the shutdown point. All right.